everybody and welcome to my achievement walkthrough for the game 50 years. I haven't shown this in my video but this game does require permission so please make sure you selected yes before continuing. So 50 years is an extremely simplified civilization sim game so don't worry if you don't have experience in this genre you will not need it. There are currently 25 achievements worth 4000 gamer score it's very easy and we should have everything done within one hour. We'll have to do a full playthrough and then afterwards we'll do some partial playthroughs for the remaining achievements. So let's get started. Select new game. Select very easy. And the nation we'll be using for the full playthrough is the Americans. Now it doesn't matter which nation you choose, the early years of any playthrough are very similar due to the limited resources. Hire two peasants and end the year. Hire another peasant and end the year. Hire another peasant and you'll see that although we have enough gold, we've hit our food limit. We can't afford the chicken farm, so end the year. Build the chicken farm, hire a peasant, and end the year. At this point, you'll be attacked. Call on two militiamen just to make sure that we can beat this guy. Hire a swordsman. And end the year. Now we can fight one on one. He's vastly superior and he's going to hack into pieces. Hire a peasant and end the year. Now we're going to build a stable which allows knights to be hired. These are very expensive units that we're not going to use right now. What we actually need is access to the cow shed which gives us more food. End the year. Our scouts have discovered the Chicken Devil's Altar. Click on Scouting and up the top here you'll find the Chicken Devil. There are three options. It'll give us a scroll of transformation that turns all the enemy units into zombie chickens. A deal where he'll kill a random enemy unit before each battle. Or you can banish him. Bear in mind that any deal with the Chicken Devil will cost you your soul. Having said that, choose Deal Transformation. It's an extremely powerful scroll and we're going to save it for the end game. Hire a knight. And end the year. Build the cow shed. And end the year. Achievement unlocked, 10 years, reach year 10. Now a den was found, click on scouting, and you'll see the poacher's camp is very close to where we found the chicken devil. There are three archers, and we're going to get a free forester's hut. These guys should be able to kill the archers even if it is a little close. Achievement unlocked. What's in a dungeon? This is for clearing any den.
hire two peasants and end the year. Hire a peasant and build another cow shed. the year. Now this is a faith build, so I'm going to build a church and end the year. Now this brings us to the belief system where a majority of the achievements are. There's Pantheon of Fat Chickens, Legends of the Miners, Legends of the Forest, Temple of Defenders, and Equality Church. You'll have to reach level 4 in each belief system. For this playthrough I'm going to be using Temple of Defenders. Pick the first skill and two swordsmen will join the army immediately. Achievement unlocked, Temple of Defenders. Pick your first faith skill in Temple of Defenders. Now we're going to build another town hall so we can increase the peasant population. End the year. three peasants and end the year. Hire four peasants and end the year. Hire two knights and end the year. Ouch, we want to be that guy. Now choose our second belief in the Temple of Defenders tree. Achievement unlocked, Temple of Defenders 2. Pick your second faith skill in Temple of Defenders. Hire a swordsman, hire two peasants, and end the year. Build a chicken farm, hire a peasant, and we're going to build another church. End the year. End the year again. And we've found another den. There's the beast's den with a tiger. And a minotaur's arena with two minotaurs. I won't be fighting in any more dens, but if you feel like you want to, go ahead. Build a monastery, which now gives us access to paladins. Paladins are converted from knights, if you have the required faith. End the year. We lost two swordsmen here. Replace any lost swordsman. Build a third town hall and end the year. 
Now we're able to pick our third belief. Achievement unlocked, Temple of Defenders 3. Pick your third faith skill in Temple of Defenders. Hire five peasants and end the year. Hire another five peasants and end the year. Hire a paladin and replace the knight. Unlocked the half reach year 25. And again, we did so with relatively little resistance. Build another stable and hire three knights. End the year. Temple of Defenders 4, pick your fourth faith skill in Temple of Defenders, and that finishes Temple of Defenders. Now an exorcist has joined our army, and he's a very powerful healing unit. Build a monastery, and end the year. Now we cannot hire another exorcist because we need a cathedral per exorcist. We don't have enough faith to hire a paladin. So end the year. Build a cathedral. Hire an exorcist and replace the night lost. Construct a stable and end the year. Now, we've already maxed out Temple of Defenders, so we're going to start on a second tree. Equality Church. Pick the first skill in Equality Church. 
Achievement unlocked, Equality Church. Pick your first faith skill at Equality Church. End the year. Build a monastery. Hire a knight and end the year. Now fights are getting a little bit more difficult now. Thanks to the skill, we lost a knight and he was resurrected. Hire an exorcist, hire a paladin, and replace the three knights. End the year. Hire a knight, and end the year. End the year. Pick your second skill in the Equality Church. Achievement unlocked, Equality Church 2. Pick your second faith skill at Equality Church. Hire five peasants and end the year. End the year. End the year. And build the Sky City. This gives us access to angels. Hire the angel and end the year. so many units the angel cop, cop block but it's an extremely powerful unit go ahead and pick the third skill in equality church achievement unlocked equality church 3 pick your third faith skill at equality church Now at this point, I can't really hire any more units or construct any more buildings. End the year. Achievement unlocked, a tough year. You are fearless. Now this achievement is unlocked for reaching year 40. It also signifies that there's a very difficult upcoming fight against three Hydras. Now we pick the skill so that they're going to start the fight with half health. As you can see, the health is half, so this will be much easier. And 
thanks to our other skill, our lost units have been resurrected. Hire two paladins and end the year. Hire another paladin. Replace the knights and end the year. Hire a paladin, replace the knight. Build the cathedral. Hire two exorcists. Replace the knights and end the year. Hire another exorcist and end the year. Our lost units have been resurrected again, so our loss is a zero. Replace the knight, hire a paladin, replace the knight. And end the year. Hire a paladin, replace the knight, and end the year. Go ahead and end the year. You can see the Minotaur and Hydra start on half health. End the year, and we're at the final battle. I've saved enough gold for a second Sky City and a second Angel. Although this is completely overkill because we've been saving a secret weapon. Now this final battle is actually quite difficult and I've lost several times. But not this time. Go ahead and choose Scroll of Transformation. And now you can enjoy the Zombie Chicken Massacre. Eighty-six zombie chickens killed. A sad day for the chicken devil. We also have time to pick our fourth belief in the Equality Church. We won't be using the skill, the game's over, but it's our last achievement. Achievement unlocked, victory, win for any nation. Achievement unlocked, Equality Church 4. Pick your fourth faith skill at Equality Church.
So there we have it, victory. We survived for 50 years. I have had to pay the price for wielding such power in that I am now a zombie chicken. So now we have 12 achievements left, and that's for spending a skill point in level 1, 2, 3 and 4 in the three remaining belief systems. From here you've got two options really, if you've had enough of my voice, you can just repeat the process we've been through. You'll unlock two belief trees, and then you can do a partial playthrough for the last. If you'd like to stick around and see some different units and some different playstyles, I've left this in the video. Select new game, select very easy, and this time we'll be using the Byzantines. This is because after acquiring the first point towards a belief, a second belief is immediately granted. So we can unlock the belief tree much quicker, quit out, and restart the process. Now I won't be talking over this section because you've already seen how the game works and how the game plays. So I'm gonna leave you here and just come back in when I need to.
Four, pick your fourth faith skill at Legends of the Miners. 
and that is our 4000 G. I'd also like to mention that this game is a Windows 10 stack with another 3000 G. You can use the guide you've just watched, it's completely identical and it should bring the game to 7000 G in about an hour and a half. So that brings this video to an end. Uh, this was actually my first ever walkthrough, so please don't like or subscribe because if you do, I might feel like making another video and it's an incredible amount of hard work and stress. Having said that, I will be making more in the future, so please keep an eye out. And thank you very much. Bye.